Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a review of a really different Bible, but I think it's really neat and it might be something that you might want to look at if you're a note taker and you take a ton of notes in a Bible. So this is going to be a binder, so it's a three ring binder. So they call this one the loose leaf Bible. One nice thing on there, and hopefully the camera picks it up okay. We've got the Holy Bible in gold and it's actually really fairly deep in there and they did a really nice job with that. Then on the spine of this one, we've got Holy Bible and Hendrickson Bibles. So this part of the binder here is three and seven eighths inches thick. So I would imagine they probably classify this as a four inch binder, but it's actually pretty big. So this, the height on it is gonna be 11 and five eighths inches tall. And just this front cover portion that you can see right there is 12 and a quarters inches. But when we extend it open, you can see that it doesn't even fit in the full frame. So if we measure from end to end, which you can't really see, but when it's all the way open, it measures out at 28 and an eighth inches. So just a hair over 28 inches. So it's really big. So it comes with this chunk of cardboard in there. And then we've got our typical three rings. And so you could kind of tell by how that clunked that that's pretty strong. In fact, it took quite a bit with my hands to, to do that. And then we've got our typical binder little plastic sheet. So this is the, the binder section for it. So you would need a good size space to sit this open and use it. But let's look at the text block. So this is going to be the paper for it, and I'm gonna drop the camera down. My tripod wouldn't even go up high enough to be able to show that whole binder in the shot. So this, this one here, so this is gonna be just the same size as regular like copy paper. So it's gonna be the eight and a half by 11 size papers. And the block itself, it's two and an eighth inches thick. So that's pretty beefy right there. So I weighed it and it's 5.74 pounds. So this is pretty heavy and it's gonna be regular paper. So you're gonna be able to use whatever pen you want. You're not gonna have to worry about like regular Bible paper and bleed through and all of that. Plus if there's a section and you're not sure how you're gonna do your notes, you can probably just make a copy of it, set it next to it and do your stuff there. But it's nice that you can get another refill for it. So there's the ISBN number on just this portion. And so we're gonna open this up. One thing that's kind of neat about it is you can either use this with a three ring binder or a five ring binder. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the plastic because it was just easier to hold being all in the plastic. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put this in. I'm pretty sure that I'll probably end up putting them in sheet protectors and then pull them out of the sheet protector when I want to do my notes. Another option that I thought of was just going with those little stickers that you can put on here that will help so those don't tear. But I think I'm just going to invest in some of the sheet protectors and go that route. Now there is 1,048 pages, so if you do get one and you decide that you're gonna get the sheet protectors, that kind of lets you know how many you're going to need to get. So we're going to have, you know, our typical title page, our table of contents. Now one thing that you might be wondering is what version of the NIV. So this one's going to be the 2011. We're gonna have our table of contents, all the books of the Bible in alphabetical order. We've got a preface, and then we get into the Old Testament. So you can see on here how wide these margins are. So lots of margin space, and I believe that they said that it was an inch and a quarter, but that just seems larger to me. So I'm just gonna take a quick measurement. It's actually two inches. So online when I looked, it said that it was inch and a quarter. If I can hold this without wrinkling it and get it up closer to the camera. 
we can see that that's actually two inches. So lots of margin space there. The bottom's gonna be a little bit smaller. So the bottom's about an inch and five eighths, and then quite a bit of space up top as well. And it's gonna have the center column references. Now the print on this, when I looked it up, well, I believe that it said it was about a nine point font. I would have to double check. So what I'll do is I'll put it on top of the screen right there and let you know the size of the font. So it's kind of nice to be able to have it in regular paper and know that you can make as many notes as you want. So we can see that there's going to be just a hair in fact the camera picks it up but i really can't even see it when i'm looking so i'm looking right here with the naked eye and i'm not seeing any ghosting or anything but i can actually see it on the camera so it looks like the camera is going to pick it up but just tons of note taking space in this and then if you do mess up i mean you could always photocopy that page and make you another page but I think this would be a good way if you're wanting to do a lot of notes and you like this translation, this might be a really good option for you. And then like I said, you could always break it up. Like if you didn't go with the full binder, you could always just use the binders you have, maybe separate the Old and the New Testament. So what I'll do is I'll kind of grab that and see about how thick the Old versus the New is. And then this is also going to have a concordance in it. So there is our thickness on the, the New Testament. So not too thick. And the old is going to be definitely much larger. But I just think that it's really neat to be able to have tons of space for notes. And it's all, of course, going to be black letter. I'm not going to have any words of Christ in red, as we can see in there. And once we get to the back of this, we're going to have a table of weights and measures. And then we get into the concordance. So we've got an introduction to the NIV concordance. And then we've got our concordance itself. So double column format. The words are in bold. And tons of space on these margins as well. So you've got a just a ton a space for notes in this. And then at the back, they've also got blank paper as well. So when this is in the binder, it's going to be pretty beefy. It's definitely not anything you're going to want to pack around. This is definitely like a keep on your desk or table type copy. So in the back, I'm not sure how many pages there are, but decent amount of blank pages. So that's kind of nice that they're that everything matches on here. So I think what I'll do is get some of those clear sheet protectors, get it all set up, and then as I want to take notes, then I'll just simply pull that page out of that section of the binder. So, but definitely a neat concept. You don't see a whole lot of loose leaf Bibles out there, and some of them can get really expensive. This one, if you buy it the way that you see it with the binder and with the inserts, it retails for $84.95 and you can get them for around $56, $57. And then you can get the replacement paper as well as you see in the, the ISBN on that, which I'll get you another shot of that. But I'll link them both in the description box in case you wanted to check it out. But that is pretty neat. So I think that's gonna be kind of a fun way to take some notes in the Bible. So definitely, if this is a translation that you like and you like to take notes and you don't want to do it in a Bible, because one nice thing, you can pull out this sheet, set it on your desk and write on it and have it not have that pen mark get through to the other page. So that's kind of a nice concept, the way that they've done this. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.